What's the most important element of projection mapping for you? It's it's how it is designed. You know, I think, uh, and we're talking about this earlier today. You know, the, uh, how I learned to work with the medium is is to work with the surface, to really you know care about every element of the architecture or you know whatever is in the space that we work in you know every element for us it's it's really important and then the way we design is like we want to uh, bring that space to life we want to create uh, magic fantasy and then uh, like you said when it's the projection design is done correctly the technology is invisible do the involvement of other senses enhance the projection mapping experience Visually, our brain can help us uh, reconstruct some things that are not there. But uh, our brain cannot do this with the sound. So when we have a lower quality image, the brain can help us, you know, think that it is a high quality image. But then when the, the, the sound uh, doesn't have the quality, it just the experience is not good, you know. It's, it's hurtful. Hurtful? No, hurt, uh, it, it hurts. How do you respond to client requirements? Our job is to create something that, that our clients want. And I'm more of an advisor. Like if, if uh, the clients want something that I think uh, is not going to work, I, my job is to advise them and let them know that this may not be the best idea and then give them uh, options of like, you know, how we could do it to achieve you know, what they want. How can audio and visual work together? I mean, it's, it's part of our world. So the audio and, and, and vision and smell and touch, you know, it's like all part of our senses. So it needs to work together. You know, we, we need to work together as designers and then composers, you know, to, to bring that uh, event or, you know, installation to life. Has it been a gradual change for you to move from event production to more permanent installation work? Well, it, it just hit me. You know, this year, uh, somehow, uh, you know, last year we, we did have permanent projects, but I can count them on, on a, uh, fingers of one hand, you know, three, four, five projects that we have done that are permanent installs. And now half of the calls are, uh, you know, about permanent installations. People want them. And then different institutions, religious institutions, uh, and then not only, you know, in some area, like we are talking to a religious institution about doing a 360 degree experience you know inside of a temple and uh, you know we're talking to the shopping malls we're talking to uh, cities so so it's really like something has exploded is projection technology really up to the job of producing modern experience content we're almost there you know that the technology is definitely there but it requires too much uh, attention like uh, the projectors are bright, you know, they have great resolution, great color. So, so we love the tools, but then uh, what we still need is like uh, some auto calibration tools, you know, some, some tools and software that will help to maintain the quality of the installation across the years when as designers we're like done and gone. What's been the reaction to you setting up your academy and how is it progressing? We have a lot of interest. Uh, the process Okay, so I mean, we have four students right now. It's a small group. Uh, for me, this is fine because like, we focus on the quality, not on the quantity. Uh, as, as we move forward, you know, I get new ideas. So I, uh, my new idea now is that I want every new student to be better than the ones we already have, just to keep upping the quality. Where have your students come from? Okay, so uh, there's one student from Japan, one from Korea, and two from Poland. Did they apply, or did you go and search them out yourself? Uh, they, uh, all of the ones that, that we have right now were recommended uh, by the different teachers or, or schools. And then uh, I'm lucky because all of them you know, are qualified to be with us. Everybody who has applied online, you know, uh, didn't meet the standard. What sort of qualities are you looking for for the course? Are you looking in the artistic areas or are you looking for engineers with a creative bent? Uh, not technical people. It's, it's, we, I think that like, for what we do it's easier to teach somebody technology than, uh, than the design. It's like if somebody has sensibility, but the artists that, that we work with uh, in the school, they need to have uh, artistic sensibility, skills, you know, portfolio, good portfolio. So we're looking at different aspects of of their work and what they have done. Uh, they also, uh, I need them to be uh, normal people. 
And what I mean by that is like we're not a talent management agency. You know, we're, we're a team-based uh, studio and then we, we need to have people that are able to work in a team. What do you think the industry should be doing to attract great talent for the future? Well, you know, the, uh, the challenge that we have with the projection design is that uh, we are relatively a young industry, even though it goes back to like 1950s. Uh, but uh, comparing to like the movie industry, uh, we're really not regulated yet. You know, we don't have standards, we don't have uh, institutions uh, that, you know, take care of the standards. Uh, we have some festivals, but the opinion is that uh, it's still kind of like an underground uh, overall thing. There are ways to organize the knowledge that can be presented in such a way that somebody can understand and learn, you know, how to design uh, projection, let's say projection mapping. Uh, but I still don't know of like schools out there, you know, their courses. But uh, so, so I think it would just take time. Are the elements of discipline and creativity to be found in the one person? Um, the challenges that we had are, for example, with you know students that have never worked, they finished you know a college, and then they come to be with us or work with us, and then all of a sudden you know it's like becomes like managing their life. You know they don't know how to do basic things. You know like is the industry looking to recruit from graduates, or are we perhaps better looking at more experienced people? I think it would be easier for somebody younger in a way that, that still doesn't have, you know, like it's open to different possibilities in life. Uh, but one of our students, I think it's like 35. What first enticed you into projection mapping? Well, I mean, you know, it started as a hobby for me. It was just something I really liked to do and then uh, I was doing it for fun and I was doing some installations uh, in uh, galleries, like very small places and from year to year it was growing. I wasn't making any money for years, you know, but it wasn't, for me, it wasn't about making money. It was about doing something that I love. And then uh, I don't remember at what point we became like this commercial, you know, studio now with close to 30 artists, you know, so it's, it's a team. <laughs>